Alrighty, old gatekeeper here. <clears throat> we have a, a very neat. Turn my headlamp off. We got a very neat uh, custom amplifier. We're starting tonight. It's going to be a two pill 2879, non dot 2879 driver for a. For a fella that's got some good taste. You want it done in candy. Candy blue. I call it beautiful blue. Because <laughs> it is beautiful. And I already got the uh, case labeled up there. I like to prepare my cases first. And all the holes drilled out there. That's for the on, off, preamp. This right here is going to be pretty much his switch. He, he asked for a switch to where when he flips it with this variable turned all the way up to where the box would be doing 150 watts, which this is kind of a trick question or a trick request, request in a sense because the way these amplifiers work, however much you're putting into them has everything to do with how much you're going to be getting out of them. So, you know, like 150 watts with how much drives the question. But the cool thing about it is he's going to have a variable and this switch. So he can pretty much find that sweet spot, meaning he can flip the switch on, turn that variable wherever he needs to with the drive that he's going to be using to where that box is doing 150 watts. And he'll know where that sweet spot is. Like, for example, he might need to take that variable and just crack it back a little bit flip the switch on and uh there you go so all right man well i already got the transformers uh wounded caps on it everything uh wound up prepared spinned up let's get this thing built got a, uh, a couple of custom uh things to do uh, uh uh wire wise he's gonna have a couple of different wire connections he's gonna use with this i'm gonna have to order a special terminal for the back too probably do that within the next uh, few weeks this is going to be kind of a slow build i'm gonna kind of work on since i'm so busy i'm gonna kind of work on it a little bit here and there so i'll get them terminals uh ordered within a week or so i'm gonna be ordering a pretty big order here in about a week i'll probably order them then maybe we'll see he basically wants to hook his ra his radio up to this box and feed from the power from there, you know, it's just a request. You know, I'm here to fulfill people's request. I'm a boutique type amp builder, customized to the brim. Oh, gatekeeper said it. We'll be back. All right, Rick. All done with your uh, very custom GK200 AB. AB biased. I think I've already explained the circuit and everything. Uh, Basically, this went with a uh, simple voltage dividing circuit for the AB bias. Everything turned out real well. Boy, this thing is, is beautiful, man. This pretty much is uh, the exact circuit that Texas Star uses for biasing. Identical. The only difference is we got a relay here actuating the uh, DC voltage. So just just straight to the point, unregulated biasing circuit. And uh, Mr. Rick had quite a few um, Sorry, my phone's having problems shutting off. He had quite a few custom requests, which I love. That's what I do. I'm a boutique type custom builder. And uh, he had a lot of custom plugs he wanted. We got that straightened out for you, bud. Oh. Here's your plug for the six foot that you wanted. Okay. Same power wires on the amp. All right. Blue's your positive, of course. Just in case that doesn't match match up the way you want it, look, you can pull these apart real easy. These are, I, I can't do it with one hand, but these are single 
these are actually single poles here you can actually pull them apart and and you know put the blue here to the right just to make sure you you need to make you just always need to make sure before you plug this in that it that it's going to be plugging in positive positive negative negative very important okay if you need to switch that around switch it around i haven't even checked it to see if i even yeah see it don't like it's going to match if i try to plug it in so this needs to be switched around Let's see if i can't do that real quick right now for you uh, i'll do it before i ship it out to you but anyway there's your six foot plug you wanted here's your custom plug you wanted which a lot of people probably won't agree with this but here's your custom plug you wanted with two uh two cigarette lighter plugs so you could possibly run this on a 20 amp accessory in your mobile you know just you got fuses here in each uh in each of the plugs you know just i wouldn't be driving the heck out of this box you know just kind of running on the low side we already talked about that this is uh something that he asked for me to do first time ever, somebody ever requested that so there's that plug for that all right you wanted the plugs on here which we got on here now and i think i already uh, pointed it out he uh, also asked for a way to hook up his radio to the back of this box so he could power his radio in the box, you know, power his radio from the actual box. So there you go, there you, there you go for that, man. The white is positive, black is negative, okay? I even painted that white to match everything else for you. Um, got the new uh, preamp circuit, GK Pre. Got you a protection diode right there for these. Whatever you do, be careful. Always hook this up properly. Negative, negative, positive, positive. Got that uh, bead. Got it wrapped as many times as I could fit on that bad boy to uh, make sure no RF comes from the box to your radio because you definitely don't want that at all. So uh, his next request was that he wanted a extra switch on here to where he basically could flip a switch like that and to make this amplifier do no more than, let me see, 150 watts peak. Because basically he wants to use this to drive a six pill with. So that's what I've done here for you, man. We got a, basically a 50 ohm pad, okay, that goes to ground. Now you're gonna to have to tune this yourself, set this up yourself. You have a 50 ohm variable right here, okay? And this. So in conjunction with both, you have a lot of control on some input attenuation. I mean, we got pretty much uh, seven watts in the sense for this, uh, 10 watts for these two resistors. So. Uh, heavy up on them for the drive that you'll be putting into this just keep those resistors from blowing if you know driving a lot for over a long period of time so you can use both of these in conjunction with each other you know like do it with the variable first try it with the switch with the variable all the way up start easing the variable back i'll show you a couple of a couple of uh settings all right man we got the uh, four watt radio hooked up to it to the uh, regulated supply over here on 14.5 volts. Okay. We got four watts going in. And the one thing I want to mention real quick, I was going to do something nice for you. I know you didn't request it on the paper, on the work order there. But uh, I went ahead and got this right here candy painted, the same color as your box. And this is going to be a remote for you. Because I know you said if you did ever get a remote, you would like for it to be wired instead of a wireless which you know i understand man some people want a wireless some people want a wired and i was going to build it from here i don't have time to do it if we're going to get this out before i leave on vacation so what i'm going to do is just uh, do this when i get back from vacation and ship it out to you and then that will right there will be your remote okay bud just want to show that to you real quick all right 
there was one more thing I was going to do, but I don't have time to do it. I was going to put you a little blue LED right here, but you don't really need it. The, the, the LED, the fan's blue. So all that just looks. Look, if the box don't work correctly, looks don't mean nothing. But if you get the box working good, then looks, it's just a plus plus. You know, all this paint and everything, it's just looks. Like my buddy Stickman used to say, show don't go. Make the box work good, then make it look good. <laughs> all right, man. Well, here we go. Four watt radio, 18 watts peak. We're on the 1,000 watt slug. Okay, and this is what we're getting out of it, just with a four watt radio. Oh, well, I'm going to turn the box on, y'all. I'm going so quick ahead of myself. By the way, the preamp does have an invert circuit. Okay, so you can run the preamp with the box off. Those, are, those switches are pretty, man. All right. That ain't the cheapest things in the world either. Box, the box is turned all the way up. Everything's turned all the way up. Good little decky. Oh. Oh. About 80 bird peak. Oh. Right there, about 300 watts. What is this thing talking though? About 250, 280? That's just for four watts going into this bad boy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is hook up the hot radio. And uh, since this bad boy is AB biased, I am not going to hook up the 100 amp supply on this. This is going to be your driver. There's really no need to anyway. This really isn't built to be a maximum two transistor, two pill high drive amplifier to do the maximum it possibly can. <clears throat> you know, we've got all this uh, attenuation going on. It's going to take away from the output just a little bit. Here's your SSB delay, by the way, okay? Up is on, down is off. SSB delay. All right, let's go ahead and hook up the hot radio real quick. Just drive a little bit more into it and see what it's doing. All right, we got, uh, we're doubling our drive from 4 watts to 8 watts RMS. 18 to 20 watts peak to about 38 to 40 watts peak, okay? Stick me in modified. All right, RMS, 1,000 watts slow. Oh, oh, oh. Right there, about 160, 180 RMS. Here's your peak. Oh, right there, about 380, close to 400 watts peak. Oh, all righty. Like I say, I don't, I wouldn't suggest running a one pill into this thing or anything. All right, I'm gonna hook the bench radio back up. I forgot to show the input reflect anyway. All right, let's hook that. want to demonstrate I just want to demonstrate the input attenuation Ooh. All right. let's turn the variable all the way up <clears throat> all right I'm gonna go ahead and show you the input reflect real quick 10 watt slug if I remember correctly I got it pretty low Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, now I'm just going to, all right, RMS, oh, 80 watts, right? All right, I'm just going to flip on the first, the inten extra attenuator there, 50 watt. Oh, now it's doing about half the power. Oh, about 30, 40 watts, okay? Let's flip it back. 
off. Peak all the way up. Ooh, right there about 300 watts. All right, let's click on the attenuator. Ooh, that's right there close to 150 right there. Ooh, right there about 150. All right, now watch this. Let's put it back on RMS. Let's take this variable, turn it about halfway. Ooh, 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 about 50 RMS. Ooh, right around 200. All right, let's turn it all the way down. Flipping back and forth from RMS, RMS as you can see it. Ooh, about 30 or so. Peak. Ooh, right there, about 150. Ooh, yep. All right. Now, attenuator on. Variable all the way back. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, like 5, 10 watts peak. I mean RMS peak. Ooh, 50 watts. That's peak too, man. Ooh, right there at 50 watts. So that gives you a lot of control, man. All right, there's your GK200 candy painted. AB biased, unregulated AB biased. It's exact Texas Star biasing circuit. As you'll see in the Texas Star. Hey, I ain't got a lot to kick it. <laughs> it's a beautiful box man one of these days i'd like to build me one <laughs> all right man we're gonna get this top on here dude and we're gonna hook up your six pill buddy we're gonna drive this into the six pill and uh if i got time i'll drive your texas star into it too man i'm, I'm running very low on time I'm supposed to be leaving right now it's five o'clock in the morning I ain't been asleep, dude. I don't even remember the last time I've been asleep. I honestly don't. All right. <laughs> I'm going, bud. Thanks for being patient with me, my friend. The old gatekeeper said it. We're going.